The world, six billion people, only a handful of great fantasy football players. Take this guy, everybody knows him, he's that Chris Prince guy. He just won over $650,000 playing fantasy football. And how about this guy? He just won a million bucks. I know what you're thinking. Act like you've been there before, right buddy? Sure, these are daily leagues, I know. But season long leagues, now that's my passion. Playing for things like these and these. Now that is my passion. Fantasy football is defined as a competition in which participants select imaginary teams from among the players in a league and score points according to the actual performance of their players. Sounds easy, right? Well, it's not. That's me. For as long as I can remember, I've played fantasy football. Each year I scour the internet, read magazines, listen to dorky radio shows, did anything I could do to get an edge on the competition. I'd pay my dues, draft my team, set my lineups, and played my heart out. But for what? I was in a rut. I even thought I should do away with fantasy football. And I'd just pay somebody to give me a square kick in the nuts and be done with it. I mean, how many times does a guy have to be on the wrong side of an injury riddled team? I was in a bad place. I hated myself. I hated who I had become. A good to mediocre fantasy football player playing in all the wrong leagues. Then it hit me. A breakthrough. I finally figured out what I was missing. Fantasy owners who knew their shit. I needed a league where little pussies didn't shy away from a little smack talk. A league where the only crying involved is at the end of the year when the winner stands victorious over all the little bitches that played against him and a little bit of his awesomeness starts falling down his cheek. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I need. More fun, less bitching. Call it a mission statement, not a memo. Mission statement. More fun, less bitching. I started searching and searching for the perfect fantasy league to be a part of. I've never searched so hard, so intensely for something in my life, and then I found it. The EAFL, the Edmonton Alberta Football League. Hey. You okay? I had a breakthrough. I finally found the league that I want to be a part of. It's called the EAFL. What's up? Came here to let you know there's a spot open in the EFL. Pardon me? I'm going for the spot, Jerry. It's real. You should say something. Shit. Crowded restaurant. So it won't be a scene. You ungrateful son. Had more fun, less pigeon, Jerry. They're not gonna take a guy like that. Oh, I'm over it. And I want the spot. Wendy, Gabrick's line is busy. Keep calling him till you get him on the phone. And will you please get me my numbers? Let me make this really easy for you. Just tell me. What? Sorry to hear that. A spot opened up and Jeremy's going for it. I think you're making a big mistake picking somebody else. Yep, that's how I feel. You think Jeremy knows what it's like to be a Nova Scotian? He said I don't know what it's like to be a Nova Scotian? I'm Mr. Nova Scotia! I gotta say, this is very personally distressing. I need a decision from you. Am I in? Am I out? But I like you. Yes, I like you, Jerry. My wife likes you. You're good to my wife. I will stay with you. Listen? Yes. You for you. God bless you, Jerry. But this is what you're gonna do for me. You listen? Jerry? Yeah, what? What can I do for you, Rod? You just tell me. What can I do for you? Very personal, very important thing. Hell, it's a family mob. I'm ready. Here it is. Show me the money. Oh, oh, no! 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 No!
I'm going to show you the money. Show me 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 the money. Yeah, AFL voting and get me in. Why don't you just go ahead and bury the attitude and tell them to vote me into this league already? You're telling me to dance. I'm an athlete! I am not an entertainer! I'm out here for this league, trying to get a spot, and you don't know what it's like! It's an up at dawn, pride swallowing siege that I'll never fully tell you about. Help me. Help me. Help you! Help me. Help you. Help me. Help you. You are hanging on by a very thin thread. <laughs> and I dig that about you! Hey, I'm happy to entertain you. Come on, man! You know, I can't even tell you how much this this focus group and, and help group for fantasy football player wives has yeah. really helped me. You know, it's been unreal. I just want to say, I'm just so, I'm so stressed out all the time. He's up late at night on the computer. He's reading magazines. He's listening to those stupid radio shows. But, you know, I got to give it to him. He does okay from time to time. You know? Hello? Um, looking for a spot in this league? Wait. Okay. okay. If this is where it has to happen, then this is where it has to happen. I'm not letting you get rid of me. How about that? This used to be my specialty. You know, the living rooms, several touchdowns, TVs, the Sunday ticket. Sometimes I'd sit alone, but it was good. Just... Last year, my fantasy team had a very big year. Very, very big year. It wasn't complete. It wasn't anywhere even remotely close to complete. I couldn't play that team in your league. Couldn't hear your voices. Couldn't laugh about it with you. I need this. I need this league. We live in a cynical world. A cynical world. Full of tough competition. And tough competitors. I will love this league. It. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. Um,